Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf of Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready to enjoy a great day. Enjoying the outdoors here in the main High Peaks region. It's time for your latest local forecast and trail report brought to you by 45 North. Check them out for breakfast, apres, or dinner in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Mostly sunny skies for the day today. Get out and enjoy. It should be a great day out there. We'll see a few clouds roll in this afternoon, later on this afternoon, but we'll enjoy base temperatures 43 to 47, summer temperatures 34 to 38, and little to no wind out there from the southeast, barely a breath of it up towards the summit. So get out there, and that sunshine is giving off some warmth, so it should be a great day of skiing and riding or doing anything in, in the outdoors today here in the region. Wednesday, we're looking at some mostly cloudy skies. Could see a chance of some snow or some mixed showers out there uh, throughout the day. Kind of a funky day out there. Just be prepared for it. When uh, West wind, 12 to 20 miles an hour up towards the summit. Southwest wind down at the base, and we'll see... Uh, Temperatures getting into the lower 40s down here on the base and the upper 30s at the summit. Thursday, partly mostly cloudy skies. We'll see some overnight precip. As you can see, temperatures well above freezing. 46 will do it for your high on Thursday. Some morning showers lingering around on Friday with a high of 51 degrees. And then on Saturday, things will cool down and we could see a chance of some snow showers overnight on Saturday night. 148 trails of ski and ride on Birchwood Interiors brings you this trail report. Nine lifts getting into those runs and 56 trails were on the groomers list last night with packed powder and loose granular as well as hard pack surfaces out there. The backside as well as bracket basin is open so get out there with some friends and explore the mountain. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, White Nitro from the top, Gondola Line from the top, Sluice and Wedge, all on the groomers list last night. Should find some fresh corduroy on that, as well as all the trails down around the base area. Hallback, Flume, Widowmaker should be in great shape as well over on the east side, as well as Ram Down, Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, Slasher, and Rollway. West Side Trails, Scoot and Windrow all groomed out for you, so get out there and enjoy it. Something for everyone out on the mountain. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway, those three lifts will move you around the base area at 8.30 this morning. Double Runner East will get you a little higher on the hill at 8.30 as well for nice groomed out runs down Boardwalk and Lower Winter's Way. Super Quad and Skyline get going at 8.30. Super Quad gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain. Skyline gets you to Spillway Crosscut, which allows you to branch out all across the mountain. And 9 o'clock, Timberline gets going, which is the uppermost lift, and a short hike up and over to ski the backside or get ski down to uh, Spillway Crosscut and head over to Bracket Basin. King Pine and Wiffle Tree, those get going at 9 a.m. Those service the east sides of the lift or of the mountain. And Fat Biking's closed down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. No ba uh, bakery and cafe. Skating's closed, but they've got plenty of great cross-country skiing uh, conditions down there as well as snowshoeing in the woods, so get out and enjoy that. And grooming operations are winding down. We want to say thank you to the local uh, Carabasset Region Chapter of the New England Mountain Bike Association as well as the Carabasset Asset Valley Trails Committee. We're doing a great job this winter. We may see some more grooming later on, but as temperatures are too warm right now, uh, just get out there very early in the morning if you're going to get out and ride. Two for Tuesday happening at the bag tonight, so that's a great option for dining, as well as Clay Pottery Studio happening at Casey's Creativity Center right down in the valley at the bottom of the S turns from 5.30 to 7.30. 25 bucks covers it all, and you can find out more at caseyscreativitycenter.com. And put this on your calendar, Easter Sunday, April 1st, sunrise service, load the Super Quad at 5.30 to 5.35. It's a very uh, awesome time to be up on the mountain, so take advantage of that opportunity and get out there and enjoy the sunrise as well as the service. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's where you'll find us on social media. We're always at our website, WSKITV.com, where you can find this latest local forecast updated twice daily. Lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy and informed, as well as our live quad cam shots, so you can see exactly what's happening in real time to know before you go on the mountain.